All right, we're out here at the hunting ground. We're gonna be going out and checking some wood duck houses. Um, it is the day before spring actually begins, but it kind of feels like spring's in the air, right guys? Yeah. Most, yeah, we got Axel and Lucky with us again today. Um, so we're gonna go keep them with us. Um, uh, come along, we'll check some wood duck houses, maybe look for a little bit of sheds, uh, see if there's anything else cool we can find this spring. Um, yeah, follow along. All right, we're out here at the first wood duck house. I'm gonna take a look inside um, and see here, James, we come around to this side. So what we're gonna do is check up inside here. Here, hand it for a second. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check up inside here. And inside the wood duck house, there's a hinge on the side. So I'll just show you how a wood duck house works. There's a, a pretty good sized hole up top so the wood duck can get inside. Um, there's an overhang on the top so that way the rain doesn't go in the hole. And inside here we have wood shavings. Um, this one, obviously something nested on it last year. This is not, um, these are not this year's uh, eggs at all, but there's actually eggs that didn't hatch from last year in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this all out. You can tell they're from last year because if you look inside that one, it's all rotten. So these are all last year's eggs and it's too early, aren't nesting yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all these eggs out um, so that way the next year, this year's eggs, there's room for this year's. So um, one thing about, um, about uh, wood duck houses and about wood ducks and mergansers is they actually have a tendency to do um, uh, nest dumping or dumping of eggs. So what that is, is um, they'll go and lay eggs in a different nest hoping that another, another bird will take care of them. So all these are unhatched eggs from last year, which is quite a kind of frustrating, but it's just kind of how, uh, how birds do it. So they kind of, they kind of work, look for a, a surrogate parent to come in and take care of the eggs for them. Um, so we're clean this, clean this guy out. Up inside there's an old wasp nest. I'm gonna clean that out too. Oops feather stuck in my hand um, so when they, when they nest inside here too the other thing they'll do is they'll put a whole bunch of their, their down feathers and that sort of thing inside of it um, to help keep their eggs, eggs warm so as you look inside this wood duck house there's a little steps to go up when you make the wood duck house you make those little cleats so that way the baby ducks when they're born and hatched they can crawl up and crawl out the hole because um, once they're um, old enough to get out, the mother will go outside the nest and call them out. So here, James, we hold this back a little ways again. Watch out, Emery. All right, so I'm gonna put some fresh sawdust. I just brought a bucket of a uh, bucket of wood shavings with. Let's throw that. This is nice and fresh for them. So they do come to nest. It's all ready to go. It looks like a fresh, unoccupied nest. Um, I think the other thing is sometimes if they come to a nest and they see that there's already uh, um, eggs in it, they'll be like, "Oh, this is somebody else's nest. I don't want a nest here." Another reason I've heard that uh, wood ducks do that, or ducks will do that, is they try to make it so it looks like it's occupied so other birds don't nest close to them. So we'll move along and check the next one out. All right, we're at um, wood duck house number two. Oh, there's a pheasant just took off right there. Um, we'll check this one out. Ooh, so come around this side on this one, Peyton. Check this out. So inside here, there's more old wasp nests in here from last year. So let's see, there's a whole bunch of down feathers. So they did do some nesting here last year because I cleaned these out last year. Was there any eggs? No, I don't feel any eggs in there. So that's good. Um, if I don't see any egg shells either. So they probably um, did a little bit of nesting, but they didn't um, uh, But they didn't actually lay eggs in there. So we'll grab a little more wood shavings out of my bucket. And then uh, just a little fresh it up a little bit in there, nice for them. There's plenty of wood shavings. Once again, this one has those same cleats going up. Um, We'll move along here and see if we can find the next one. At the next one, can I be on the um, team of both Yep. All right. So you can let him go, Peyton. We'll see how he does here. Axel has a tendency to pick on to pick on Lucky. So we got to keep working on that so he doesn't do that all the time. But I want... <laughs> he just ran into a tree. Axel, no. Hey. Hey. Axel, no. Axel, no. Leave him alone. All right. Come on, Axel. Come on, Axel. Come see if you can find a pheasant. See if you can find a pheasant, Axel. So, if you didn't see the last video about Axel, he is a wire-haired pointing griffon. Right now he's probably, I can't remember if it's 13 or 14 weeks old, he's still still growing. But, um, well, Thomas just took a digger. So I always seems to trip over out here. Axel, come! Hey! 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 Axel, come! Axel, come! Come on, Axel! Starting to get a little better name response. We were struggling with him earlier today. He's coming back, so let's see if he can give him a come and sit for me. Here, Axel! Axel, come! Axel, come! Right here! Right here, right here, Axel, come. Hey, 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 Axel. Hey, Emery, stop walking. Axel, come. Hey, come. 
Nope, sit. There you go. All right. Hey, Dad, I see the next one. Yes, back up. Okay, will you hold this camera? Yep. Okay, can you see the wood duck house in it? I can see a wood duck in a tiny okay. and Dad. Okay. All right, so here's wood duck house number three. So we had to fix this one last year. So let's take a look inside and see what we found. All right, can I hold that again, please? So up inside here, oh, there we go. Um, there, it's pretty fresh yet. There wasn't any eggs left in here. I don't see any egg shells. Um, so we'll freshen this one up just a little. Actually, you know what? That's all still pretty fresh. I'm just gonna leave that just the way it is so I don't run out of wood shavings for the next ones. And we'll keep moving along here. All right, guys, let's head to the next one. Nope, I got it. Nope, I got it. All right, come on, Axel. Stay with us and don't pick on Lucky. Axel, no. What's that? Oh, there's geese down there. Cool. And there's ducks sitting down on it, too. Can you go down there? Yeah, well, well now they're taking off. We got, uh, I don't know if you can see that, they got mallards, geese. Um, I saw a couple wood ducks down there, too. So, yeah, we have a little pond down there. So, one of the other things about uh, wood duck houses that you want to do is um, always have the hole pointed towards um, the water that they want them to nest in. There's actually two more ducks down there. Should we walk down a little closer, guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can check the other wood duck house down here over here. And the nesting tubes. Yeah, nesting tubes. Yep. Is that Yeah. Yep. There's two more mallards taking off right there. Nice little drake and a hen. There is. Oops. So I built a kind of makeshift uh, duck blind. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't last the winter very well. All right, let's go out here. We'll go check these uh, two nesting tubes. So, um, guys, stay back from the edge of the water so you don't get your boots wet. Um, so, these nesting tubes, the way they work is we have wire rolled up, like a double tube of wire. And in between the wire, layers of wire, we have, uh, we actually used straw, last time a straw, hay. Um, so, now we go out here and check them. And it's nicer up on these, up on these posts so that way um, other critters like coons and stuff can't get up to them. But this one needs to be freshened up a bit. I'm gonna just stuff a whole bunch of grass into this. Uh, Peyton, you gonna can't be my camera lady? Sure. Yeah, the, probably the right way would be to unroll it and start over, but you know what, that'd be a pain to do. So we can stuff it full again. <laughs> Here, back up a little bit, please. I think it's all in there. Guys, keep Axel with you. What's that hold from right in the middle? <laughs> That's from where, where one nests in here in the past. And that, um, so there's a hole, this thing kind of pivot swivels. There's a hole right in here from where they use, the, they use actually the material in here to make their nest in the inside of the tube. So um, we'll kind of clean that out a little bit too. We can stuff that back up in. So, <laughs> they will, um, not sure what Thomas just found. Oh, cool, way back in there. Hopefully, found something neat. Can that turn on? Yeah, it's in level. Yeah. I don't know if that screws with them much. I know that in the other one, um, maybe two years ago, we had a Mallard nested in it. Yeah. Wait, what kind of animals are supposed to nest in here? These are for mallards. Oh. So they're the one. They're the ducks with the bright green heads on them. Isn't over here supposed to be water? Yeah. Well, the, the, we're kind of still. We had a dry couple of years. Yep, that's how they're supposed Look to work. Look at that board. Where? Where there? I don't see it. <laughs> it's a black. Oh, I see it. It's way over there. there. Guys, is Axel with you? Oh, yep, I see him. All right, so we'll crash this in a little bit more. So we want it to be nice and dark inside there, um, but they have them like so that way the the babies get all um, protected from the elements too. 
So normally when, when mallards nest and nest on the ground in the grass, um, but this just gives them another, uh, an elevated option that helps keep them safer, safer throughout the elements and, um, and like a pre-made nest for them. We'll do one more spot on the other side over here. Does it matter if there's a whole bunch of grass dangling off the side? Nope, that shouldn't matter. Actually, it'll probably be better for them because it'll be dark. Yep. So I think I want to patch in these other side holes so eggs don't roll out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. That would be bad. I mean, get Axel off Axel, Lucky. Axel, quit. Hey, hey. Quit. All right. So this one looks a little bit a uh, little hokey um, stuff hanging off it. We got it pretty well mm. bedded in. We got some material inside there for them. Um, we got all the holes patched in. This one should be good. Uh, we'll walk over this other one here and see what we can find on it. I think it was two years ago they nested in this one. This one looks about the same as the other one. Yeah, we got to stuff a whole bunch more into this one. Well, what did Thomas find over here? Let's go take, check this out really quick. What'd you find, Thomas? A bunch of burrows. A bunch of burrows. You're sticking your head in some holes. Uh, what if you get bit? Yeah, I found one right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. this this was an old uh, muskrat lodge. I think they got all shredded. And that's what you see in there. Yep. Yep. It's an old one. <laughs> Peyton found a leaf that looks just like a heart. I want it. That's pretty cool. All right, hey Thomas, I'm be my cameraman for a little bit. Sure. All right, so I'm gonna restuff this one full of grass. Let's take a look inside here quick first and see if we find any eggs or anything like that. Nope, I don't see any eggs inside there. I don't see any eggs inside there. Really, please back up, Thomas. I saw it in my bag. He's right there. I mean, he's fine. I right, so think I restuff this. Uh, between these layers. So extra doubt. So just protected. And that way they have nesting materials and everything too. Good job, James. Mm -hmm. There we go. That one looks pretty good. You want to stuff this in quick? Turn block. I'm sure there's probably better ways to have made these nesting tubes, but I don't know. Worth a try. It's dark on that end. Yep. Dead. All right. Give me a quick tour of this guy. So this one, we got some little hanging off the edges, but they, they'll be able to see there's a hole in there and they might jump right up into it. Jim, you can stuff that up in there if you want to, bud. There you go. A little material up inside for some to nest on. And then, uh, yeah. So hopefully, the mallard will nest there. Thomas is trying to see how deep the water is to see if it goes over top of his boots. Let's head back and check this uh, other wood duck house over here, guys. Thomas, please don't. <clears throat> yeah, we'll check that one. The one up on the the, the smashed uh, wood uh, duck blind. So I made that duck blind about two years ago out of an old trailer. Yeah, it's kind of kind of turned into a broken duck blind. Yep. Yeah, well, this didn't work out real well. All right, guys, can I get past you quick and get over to that thing? So I mounted this one on here. Thought it would be a good idea. I'm not sure if it really was a good location. There's actually some down right there from last year, I imagine. Let's take a look inside and see what we can find. This one has a little bit different door on the side of it. So here's the old eggs from last year that did not hatch. <coughs> they didn't 
Nope. Whole bunch of them. Can so I see what's inside of them? You want to? It's going to be a rotten egg. Oh. I want to see also. Ooh. Whoa. They float. That means they're... Yeah. So here's one way you can tell if they're bad. So I don't know if you can see this, but a, a rotten egg will float. So if you ever have eggs, like if you have if you have chickens, and you uh, want to know if your eggs are still good, you can do a float test on them. I don't know if you can see, but they float right back to the surface. That means they're rotten. That means they're rotten. They're so we have. Rotten. Yep. So we'll put a little bit of fresh wood jammies in here. I think I'm not sure why this one got abandoned either, but it did. So we'll go ahead and close that guy back up. We did, and I'll show you where that's at in a little bit. All right, so that one's good. Mess. Unfortunately, none of those eggs hatched either last year. Well, Mill, they'll hatch in the water. Um, Thomas, they're rotten eggs. They will not hatch. Okay. The babies are probably already yeah. dead. dead. What? Axel, Bucky, come on. Come on, Axel. Whoa, how did he get up there? He climbed. I saw, I saw him. All right, so we're heading on to the next one here. Let's take a look at it and see. Where'd Lucky go? Emery's trailing behind Lucky's right there. Um, we'll go see what we can find in this next one. Hopefully, what I want to see is empty eggshells. So that means we actually hatched them out. We'll see. So later on in the later on in the spring, we'll come back out and check these and kind of do like a non-intrusive checks and see if uh, there's birds nesting on them, what species there is, um, and maybe if they're not in there, we can check and see how many eggs they have in there. Um, so we'll open this guy up and see what we can find inside of it. Here you go, James. Try to try stand over here so, so the grass is not on your face. All right, look at this one. It's a pretty good one, actually. So you see up inside there, look at all those eggshells. One eggshell, two eggshells, bunch of down. So this one, the eggs actually hatched out of. I don't know if you can see that very well. The eggs actually hatched out of this one. That's a good sign. So this is a successful one. So that's pretty cool. Fun to see that. Um, there, oh, there's one that didn't hatch right here. Check it off to the side. Dig around here a little bit more. Did I just hit Axel? Didn't mean to. So fluff that up a little bit. Um, so I don't know if I didn't mention it earlier. These pieces right down here, that's to help keep raccoons and other predators from climbing up and getting into these. So it actually helps protect the birds um, as they're nesting. Hey, Dad, and right there, there's a little baby chicks no. climbed hey, out, Axel, I think. No. Well, what is that? No, that's just a knot. These scratch marks? Yeah. I'm not sure what those are. They might be from, maybe a coon did get part way up there. It's hard telling. All right, let's move along to the next one, guys, and see what we can find. Nice All right, we're at the next wood duck house here. Let's take a look inside and see what we got. This one was not occupied last year. Well, there's some old eggshells mixed in, maybe from previous years, but... Usually you'll see all that down, the down feathers inside there. Just gonna add a little bit of wood shavings to it. Lucky come. Lucky come. Lucky come. Pop that up real nice. Yep, that's the last one in this stretch zone. The only other one we have is way down the tree. So we'll head down to there and take a look at that one. All right, we're down by the creek. We have one more wood duck house over here. I don't think I don't think anything lived in this one last year. We'll freshen it up. <clears throat> so this one just stuck on the side of a tree. So sometimes, okay, when you do these ones, uh, these turn into squirrel houses too. Actually, on this one, we're up around. There's teeth marks and scratch marks, so that's not really a good sign. Open this guy up. <laughs> it looks like a squirrel nest if I've ever seen one. Wait, that's a squirrel nest? Yep. No squirrel babies and no squirrel. Yeah, are squirrels or mammals? Yes, squirrels are mammals. There we go. 
We'll try that again. Worst case scenario, it'll be a squirrel house. Bet the squirrels will like it though. Thomas, don't get all muddy, buddy. I'm not, I'm looking at this crack. A crack? Axel? Could be big enough for you to This one. Let me go Maybe that's too, yeah, that's too big for our dogs. Are you sure? And that's probably the neighbor dog just came through. Actually, has pretty big feet, not that big. Yeah, he has pretty big feet, but not quite that big. Mm. That's the widow pavo. What's that mess? In the water? Yeah. That's just uh, that's ice under the under the surface of the flowing water. Really? Cool. And that's why it's white down in there. Pizza. It's gonna be poked out. And there's sand down underneath that. It's kind of a sandy, this is kind of a sand bottom area right here. It's our swimming hole. It's our swimming hole. It's actually a, other than this really steep bank to get down to it, it's actually a pretty fun <laughs> spot to swim when the, when the current's right. But. Not too hard so you get flow all the way down. What are you guys Yeah. I checked this out. She threw a piece of bark in. Well, we're going to hike around a little bit more and then uh, see what else we're going to check out. Maybe, Whoa. maybe just hang out for a while. Yeah. Don't let, don't let, hey guys, guys, I don't want Axel to fall down into there. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and we will have more videos from the hunting ground and about wood duck houses and uh, all that coming soon. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.